Welcome back to Mr. Scott Maths. In this video, we're going to take a look at dividing numbers that are in standard form. So if there are any other topics you'd like me to cover, please just leave a comment down below and I'll get to that video as soon as I can. Also, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. So in this video, we're going to be dividing numbers that are in standard form. So just a reminder, what are our numbers in standard form? Well, they're numbers a little bit like this, where we've got a number between 1 and 10, multiplied by a power of 10 and we're dividing it by another number between 1 and 10 multiplied by a power of 10. So for this first example if we had 8 times 10 to the power of 9 divided by 2 times 10 to the power of 4 but what we can do is we can rearrange this calculation. We can put our two numbers that are out the front together and we can put our two powers of 10 together and how we can do this is that we have 8 divided by 2 And it's going to be multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 divided by 10 to the power of 4. Well, 8 divided by 2 we can do very easily. That's, of course, just going to give us 4. And then there's 10 to the power of 9 divided by 10 to the power of 4. This is where we've got to think about our index laws. So when we're dividing powers with the same base number, all we need to do is we need to subtract the second power from the first power. So in this case, we do 9 take away 4. That would give us 5. So we're going to have 4 times 10 to the power of 5. And just to double check that this is in standard form, because this would be our answer, well, we've got a number between 1 and 10, so that's absolutely fine. And we multiply by 10 to the power of 5, so we're multiplying by a power of 10, so that's absolutely fine as well. So we're fine with this answer we've got here, 4 times 10 to the power of 5. Now let's look at another example. This time we have 7.5 times 10 to the power of 11 divided by 3 times 10 to the power of 5. Well, again, let's put our two numbers together. So 7.5 divided by 3. And it's multiplied by 10 to the power of 11 divided by 10 to the power of 5. So 7.5 divided by 3, well, that's going to give us 2.5. And then 10 to the power of 11 divided by 10 to the power of 5 well, we've got to subtract our powers again, of course, so 11, take away 5 gives us 6. So we've got 2.5 times 10 to the power of 6. And again, let's just double check that's in standard form. We've got a number between 1 and 10 with 2.5, so that's all good. And we've got a power of 10 that we're multiplying it by, so that's all good as well. So we'll answer 2.5 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay, in this next example, we've got 1.2 times 10 to the power of 7 divided by 4 times 10 to the power of 3. So again, let's rearrange this calculation. Let's put this 1.2 divided by 4 out the front. So 1.2 divided by 4. And it's going to be multiplied by 10 to the power of 7 divided by 10 to the power of 3. Well, 1.2 divided by 4, that's going to give us 0 0.3. And then 10 to the power of 7 divided by 10 to the power of 3. 7 take away 3 gives us 4. So it's multiplied by 10 to the power of 4. Now let's double check that this is in standard form. Well, this time we have 0 0.3 at the front. Well, that's smaller than 1. So actually, this one isn't quite in standard form. So we need to correct it, make sure that it is in standard form, make sure this number at the front is between 1 and 10. And to do that, we can simply multiply it by 10. So if we multiply 0 0.3 by 10, we get 3. And now this number is absolutely fine. But if we multiply that by 10, we can't keep this 10 to the power of 4 because then we get a number that's 10 times too big. So we've actually got to reduce our power by 1. So this 10 to the power of 4 becomes 10 to the power of 3. So we end up with an answer of 3 times 10 to the power of 3. In this example here, we have 9 times 10 to the power of 4 divided by 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So we can start off just the same by rearranging our calculation. So we'll have 9 divided by 2, and it will be multiplied by 10 to the power of 4, divided by 10 to the power of negative 3. Well, 9 divided by 2, that's going to give us 4.5. And 10 to the power of 4, divided by 10 to the power of minus 3. Well, if we're dividing powers, so we've got to subtract. So it's going to be 4, take away a negative 3. Well, if we take away a negative, we're going to then go up rather than go down, which we normally do when we subtract. So 4, take away a negative 3, is actually going to give us 10 to the power of 7. So the answer we get for this one will be 4.5 times 10 to the power of 7. And in this case, 
We've got our number between 1 and 10. We've got our power of 10. So our format is fine, and we leave our answer as 4.5 times 10 to the power of 7. Okay, now there's going to be two questions for you to have a go at. So if you just want to pause the video for a moment and have a go at this first one, we've got 5 times 10 to the power of 12 divided by 2 times 10 to the power of 4. And I'll go through this one in just a moment. Okay, so working out this first one, we first need to rearrange our calculation. So let's put this 5 and 2 out the front. So 5 divided by 2. And then multiplied by 10 to the power of 12 divided by 10 to the power of 4. Okay, 5 divided by 2, well that's going to give us 2.5. 10 to the power of 12 divided by 10 to the power of 4. Again, we need to subtract our powers. 12, take away 4, gives us 8. So we get times 10 to the power of 8. And in this case, we're still in standard form. We've got this number between 1 and 10, and we've got our power of 10, so we're absolutely fine. Okay, here's one more question for you to have a go at. So if you just want to pause the video for a moment again, have a go at this question here. We've got 9 times 10 to the power of 7 divided by 3 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Okay, going through this one then, let's first of all put our 9 and our 3 out the front. So we'll have a 9 divided by 3. And it's going to be multiplied by 10 to the power of 7 divided by 10 to the power of negative 5. So 9 divided by 3, well that's just going to give us 3. And then 10 to the power of 7 divided by 10 to the power of negative 5. Well we need to do 7 minus negative 5. So we're actually going to end up doing 7 add 5. And we'll end up getting an answer of 10 to the power of 12. So our answer should be 3 times 10 to the power of 12. We're all good because we've got our number between 1 and 10. We've got our power of 10. So we leave it as that. Make sure to like and subscribe for more maths videos.